All right, this is the review of my uh, cold steel kukri machete. I just posted a video today of me thumping on this thing, uh, doing some batoning with it, along with this thing. This is the GI Tano review I just did. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. This thing was uh, this blade from Cold Steel, along with this, are both made of uh, 1055 carbon steel, and it's a real sturdy. This these sturdy uh, key holds an edge real well. I'm very impressed with the edge holding on these. This thing uh, I whacked on it quite a bit today, and it did pretty good considering what it is. It's got a real thin blade. It's only 2.75 millimeters thick on the blade. Uh, it's got a utility edge on it, and it's not the best edge in the world from factory. As a matter of fact, it kind of sucks, but you can still use it pretty good. I haven't touched the blade at all as far as sharpening, and it, it batoned pretty well today. It's uh, it's pretty light. It weighs This thing weighs 16 ounces, but if you've got a weight issue and you need to take something a little bit lighter, uh, take a, I'd say take a K-Bar uh, biting knife. One of the the uh, seven inch varieties. I think believe that I'd have to look it up, but I believe those are seven point six ounces. And this one right here, the the tunnel, the GI tunnel from Cold Steel weighs in at um, ten point six ounces. So it's a little heavy, it's, but not quite as heavy as this. This is for what it is. This thing is an excellent excellent blade. I highly recommend. If, this I also paid twenty dollars for. I got, I believe it or not, I did get this one off of eBay for 20 bucks, And, uh, you know, I, I'm very happy with it. And it, it is a cold steel blade, even though there, it doesn't say cold steel on it anywhere. Trust me, it's cold steel. Um, I, t I managed to actually get the sticker off the blade, which is a pain in the butt. That had the cold steel logo and everything on it. That's a pain in the butt to get off. Took me a while to do that. Um, it just bugs me, so I... I sat down and, and worked on it for a while and I got it off of there. Um, I'll eventually take this into my local sharpener and have them put a nice sharp relief edge on there and put a nice uh, sharp edge on it. But for now, I'm happy with it. I mean, I, I'll, I, I'd i go out in the woods with it right now and try and chop down trees with it, but uh, it's late. It's pretty late tonight and um, I, it's been a busy day. Like I said, I had uh, I posted a couple videos today of me thumping on these the two blades I'm showing you here. Uh, I put this lanyard on here. It's a paracord. Um, I took the inside out of the paracord. I've got just a... What I did personally, I just put a, a little loop down here and tied it on. It's got a draw on it. So I can tighten it down as much as I need to. I don't know. I'm just playing with which way I like the paracord uh, lanyard. And I haven't found a good uh, something I liked yet. So just working on it. You got to try stuff out and see if it works. If it don't work, try something else. That's all I can say about that. But, you know, it's good. Um, other than that, this thing, is it works. It's got a nice long blade to it. So you can baton through some pretty good size logs if you need to to build fire with um, as far as fine work goes I wouldn't use something this big if you're making kindling um, I'd try something smaller um, I'd try something like this this is a K-Bar Warthog I'll do a review on this one later um, also a real good knife I'm happy with this one too I will do a review on this later on um, but until then, I'm going to leave this one out of the picture for now. You guys got to wait. This one's all about the the kukuri machete. Um, on uh, Cold Steel's website, this thing sells for, let's see, $24.99 they have it listed. Like I said, I paid $20. Not much of a difference, but I'm sure you, if you looked hard enough, you'd probably find it a little bit cheaper than what I paid. Um it comes with a cheesy cordura sheath. This thing's kind of junk. I don't like it. It's flimsy. Uh, Cold Steel sees this. Maybe they could make a better sheath for it. Um, it's kind of hard to put in. I leave this bottom part buttoned and just leave this open and slide it on in. 
seems to work pretty good. And that way, all you have to do is on is do the top button on it, and then it's secured. And it draws pretty easily, also when you pull out. There you go. So I just leave the top one button. It's a pain in the butt. Sheath's not all that. Well, what do you expect? Twenty dollar knife. It is made of Cordura, but it is kind of flimsy, as you see. I can mold a new ball. It's not real sturdy. Um, other than that, you know, hey. Maybe you could make another sheath for it, find another sheath, I'm not sure. But kudos if you do. Um, a good belt loop on it, good nylon strap for it. That's about the only good thing of the sheath. I'm not happy with the sheath at all, but the blade itself, I don't think you could buy pretty much anything better. It definitely does what they say it'll do. Uh, good steel, um, it, it, it's light in hand, it, it, it feels good. And it doesn't hurt your hand when you're out there whacking on stuff either. Um, it's got a, it also has a probably propylene handle, molded handle on it. Um, it's not too heavy. It feels good. And when as for what it is, you want it a little bit heavier because you you have to chop through things with it. Um, other than that, I think it's a great blade for what it is. It's not as thick as some of the survival knives that you see guys with. It's it probably won't do as much as those will but it will for a poor guy it's adequate enough to do the job um, considering like I said before money is tight these days and, and a lot of people can't go out and spend a bunch of money on a blade and if you need a good survival blade do your homework I mean there's they're out there and they're good quality too like something like this would serve its purpose very well as a all-around survival I wouldn't say survival, more or less, eh, you could probably use it as a, as a survival tool. Um, but for finer work, I, you need something uh, like this, Tonto here, or even, uh, there, there's others out there as far as survival knives. Uh, Ontario makes a good knife. Um, Cold Steel actually has some other ones. Uh, the SRK is a good good survival that's a little on the small side as far as blade size goes um, Benchmade has some good ones uh, uh, Spyderco has a few nice uh, folders survival folders I guess you'd call them but I'll, I'll do a review on that K bar I just showed you to come soon this thing K bar warthog real inexpensive blade here and I also have another one I want to do a review on someday that would be uh, this uh, Cold Steel Trail Guide. Real light, easy to carry. I'll do a review on it also soon. So, all right, that's the review on my uh, Cold Steel Machete. If you don't have one, look into it. They've got, I'm not sure exactly how many offhand, but there's several different styles of machetes that they have on Cold Steel's website. Look into it if you're looking in, in the market for one of these things. And don't go out and spend a bunch of money on a machete that's going to, uh, not serve its purpose and when you can get something like this for uh, in a really inexpensive price I'd go with this 20 bucks hey for 20 bucks you buy a knife or blade that's going to last you for a lot of years hey you can't beat that like I said you may end up putting a, a new I will eventually too I'll put a new edge on here I'll have my uh, professional guy here where I live do it because uh I've got other knives I need to sharpen myself that I'd rather do myself. But something like this, I'm just going to go out and whack on it. I'll have him put a good edge on it and just go beat the crap out of it. Now this I'd probably do myself. Uh, it just needs a little touch up on it. But it's real simple. Simple stone would work. No problem. Alright. I'll be back with more reviews later. See ya.